hi welcome to Amy and family I'm Amy and my family is featured on this channel I do lifestyle vlogs I do faith vlogs and a lot more so if you're interested in any of those things and you want to see what's going on with my life and my family keep watching subscribe and hit the notification bell Hey guys, it's Amy here and I'm coming on to do another video. Uh, this video is a response video to McKenna Ashley, a video that she did um, about how to motivate yourself and inspire yourself as a laid back girl. Um, I am doing a response video to her video because I can relate to pretty much everything that she said in that video. I'm a laid back type of personality too, and it's easy for me to get unmotivated. Um, it's easy for me to just want to procrastinate and um, do things at the last minute. Um, in the video sh that she did, she was talking about how, you know, God has given each of us dreams and I have goals. You know what I mean? There's things that I need to do every day and get done with my YouTube channel, with my blog and other things that I'm working on that I have, uh, you know, projects in the making. And uh, she was sort of talking about how she motivates herself and gave some practical tips on how to um, be motivated as a laid back girl. Um, I'm going to elaborate a little bit about myself. Um, she says laid back and likes to rest. I just call it lazy. Um, but to me, it's something that I have to overcome. You know what I mean? Um, I pray to the Lord for motivation. I pray to the Lord to help me organize and um, become better at scheduling things and, you know, to not procrastinate, to just get things done. And the Lord helps me so much, you guys. Um, I just want to say that the Lord is my helper. Um, I am more motivated now and more joyful now in these past um, few months because I did pray and I did seek the Lord to help me with these things. I was trying to get the video done um, while my son was asleep, but he wanted to join me, so I figured I may as well uh, compromise. Um, so yeah, I was saying that uh, as a laid back type of personality, you know, being prone to procrastination and um, lack of motivation, it is hard to get things done sometimes or to be joyful about it when I do do things. And um, my main tip for uh, you, if you have a similar, similar type of personality, is to seek the Lord to help you if you are a Christian, you know what I mean? Because the Holy Spirit is our helper as believers in Christ. And um, the Lord has helped me so much. It's okay, baby. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but I'm just going to go over the tips that she said. Um, and I will add my own as well. Um, uh, but before I go over the tips, the practical tips to help a laid back girl, um, you know, those of us who have the laid back type of personality overcome our weaknesses. Um, a lot of you may not know this. I think I've shared it on, I've shared it on my blog and I don't know whether or not I've shared it on my YouTube channel, but, um, I have bipolar disorder and I struggle with depression. Um, so that's part of my struggle, um, is the mental illness that I deal with. I have been stable for a long time now and the Lord has helped me, you know what I mean? Um, when I first was diagnosed as a teenager, um, I struggled a lot, but over the years I have learned some coping mechanisms and some ways to help me stay stable, um, but anyway, that's uh, part of what I struggle with, um, but 
aside from that, I am, I do have a laid back personality. I'm not one of those, um, not naturally one of those go getters and always motivated and motivating other people. But I'm just going to get into the tips that McKenna Ashley gave and then I will give my own. So number one, she said um, to create a support system. Find one person or a couple of people or a few people in your life who are going to be your um, community. People who are positive and people who know your dream, who you can trust uh, your vision with, you know what I mean? Um, I don't make friends easily, you guys, and I don't easily trust a lot of people, which I don't think is a bad thing because there aren't a lot of people um, to really rely on as an adult, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think it's smart to share your heart with a lot of people. The Bible even says to guard your heart. And, um, because that's where your life is, you know what I mean? That's where your life is, is in your heart and in your dream and your, uh, vision. Um, so my number one person that I share with more than anybody else is my husband. He is my support. Um, uh, he like keeps me on my toes. He keeps me up even when he doesn't know it, he is my reason why I keep going. Um, the Lord, my husband, and then of course my kids. I have um, little people who are relying on me to be up. Um, so yeah, th that's my support system. I have a couple of friends who I say something to here and there, but nobody really close besides my husband. Um, the number two thing that she said is to stay in the word of God, um, especially as content creators, you know what I mean? I have a blog, so I'm a writer and I also have to come up with videos twice a week to, um, bring out to you guys here on YouTube. So I need to stay in the word so that, um, my heart is pure before God so that I have inspiration from the truth of in the life in the way jesus that i have the living word you know what i mean so that i can keep creating content and um not just doing it from a place of self but doing it from a place of inspiration of the holy spirit um something that i'm going to add to that is i used to just read the bible and i don't think it's wrong to just read the bible but i have added um I'm a reader. I'm a big reader, you guys. So I read a lot of fiction as well. But I also have started recently to uh, read self-help books. And I try to only read uh, self-help books from Christian authors. But there have been some things that I read um, that uh, helped me in certain seasons like i'm not going to say what the book was but i read a certain book that i would not have read um any other time last year after my dad died on the way home from the funeral i actually downloaded a kindle book that really helped me and it was not a christian one that's what no i am not going to say it because the title <laughs> was not the best title um and i don't want to say those words on my channel but um you know d just thinking outside of the box is helpful um, because as a writer and as a content creator, creator, I have to brainstorm. So um, that's another thing I'm going to add in there is to, you know, take time out to sit in the word of God and to sit with um, self-help books and um, research other people in your niche and other people who have similar visions of you and have been as you and have been successful. I really sit down and brainstorm um that's another way that my husband is really helpful as well because he's like a sounding board and he um is also a content creator so we sit down often and we bounce ideas off of each other he has helped me immensely with my youtube channel i'm not gonna lie you guys um but yeah uh 
actually a funny thing is in McKenna's video she brought up my I believe this is the verse she brought up she brought up my favorite um bible verse in her video Philippians 1 6 he who began a work in you will see it to completion to the day of Jesus Christ and that helps me as a laid-back girl who pre pretend um tends to be lazy and tends to be unmotivated and have lack of inspiration as a natural personality that helps me because I'm leaning on God um to um do the work in me that he started when I accepted Jesus Christ um but in his word he does not want us to um just say okay God promised us God promised me what he promised me and he's going to, um, you know, get it done. It's going to happen. And he doesn't want you to say that and just sit there and do nothing. You know what I mean? We are um, partners with the Holy Spirit to get the work of the kingdom of God done here on this earth, you guys. Um, what else did she say? Um, she also said, ask God for a strategy and to give you a heart for the people that you're ministering to. And then she said, uh, write down God's promises and dreams. This has actually been really helpful for me, you guys. I don't do it all the time, but when I sit down and I write, I, uh, I mainly do it in my Bible study journal. When I take time to sit down, this baby is asleep, but if I put him down, he's not going to stay asleep. So I'm just going to hold him for the rest of the video, you guys. Um, when I take time to sit with the word of God, sit down in the word of God, get out my Bible study journal and write um, down notes. It's like my Bible study experience is so much better. Um, I hear the voice of God better. Um, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. Um, the word gets in my heart better. I can meditate on it better. And then I can also go back into my Bible study journal later and see what I wrote later after the fact you know what i mean so uh yeah those were some really good tips from hers and then i have my own uh tip that i wanted to add um i expanded on hers but then i wanted to add something to the mix um sometimes you just have to force yourself and be your own motivator because like I said my husband I, he's my sounding board and somebody that I vibe with and who is always motivating me are you know to be on my toes and get up and do it instead of procrastinating you know what I mean um but okay um you have your support system community of people who are there to uplift you and encourage you and push you to do the things that God has placed in your heart to do. But also, you need to learn to encourage yourself and learn to motivate yourself because nobody's going to do it for you 24 seven. You have to be your go-to person. Like, um, I know what I have to do and I'm going to get it done. Um, my mom's favorite motto is Nike. <laughs> Uh, just do it. So like that's her thing. Even though my mom and me do not have the same type of personality, she's more go getter than me. But of course, she had to because she had eight kids. Um, I have three, and I'm getting to the point where I have to push myself more than ever before because I'm realizing, um, the greatest responsibilities that I have is as a mother and I want them to have a better future. I want my children to have a better future than I did growing up, you know what I mean? Which I did not have a terrible childhood, but there's some things that I would like them to have that I did not have, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, so that's part of my motivation. Um, also, I'll add, since I said that, then find out your why. Uh, why do you want to do the things that God has put in your heart to do? Um, what is your why? What is going to be your motivation for getting up every day, for sitting down and writing that blog post, for doing your research, for um, sacrificing sleep, for... Um, 
getting rid of uh, distractions. What's going to be your why? You know what I mean? For me, it's my family. Uh, my family is my why and that's good enough for me. If I can't look at the faces of my children and want to work hard so that my husband doesn't have to bust his butt every day like he's doing, then what else is going to motivate me? You know what I mean? That's my why. Um, so pretty much that is the video, you guys. Um, I just wanted to um, share my thoughts and do a response to McKenna Ashley's video. And I will have the link to her video in the description box, you guys, as well as um, my blog and um, all my social media as always. But if you guys are a laid back girl like me, or you can relate to anything in this video, feel free to do a response video yourself, or even just leave um, a reply in the comments. And let me know if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, then subscribe so that you can get um, updates on my videos. And also, one more thing, if there's anything that you want me to touch on and do a video on, you have any um, topics, suggestions for me, then leave those in the comments too. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.